Kidnappers out out hide out busted by emo police command. Thank you very much for joining us. This is serious matters. Top of the morning to you outside there. Hope you had a very wonderful weekend. Well, let's start with this one. There are quite a number of things, a number of news, you know, making the run at the t at this time. Oh, this is serious matters. I so saw we pick on you know one or two of them and look at you know what we can make out of them. Well, coming all the way from Emo State, the Emo Police Command has released a statement uh, titled Arrest of Notorious Kidnappers, Rescue of Victims, Recovery of Arms and Ammunition, and Victims for a Vehicle. Following the reports um, of the kidnapping of one Dominic Chukuma and Silas Owabua, Nabubua, Wubia, respectively received by the command center kidnapping units on 30th of april 2022 the operatives immediately swung into action after gathering credible or both credible and technical intelligence where the radar uh the radar revealed the location of the criminals hideout in Uzua, Ayuza, Mbaisi, local government of Imo State. The police operatives on the 5th of May 2020 at about 23.50 hours uh, stormed the kidnappers then and arrested Wanobina uh, Onoha, age 35, a native of Omo Ego, Ompa, and Ubokwe Igbokwe Joseph, age 35, too, uh, a native of Omochoko Ite Aforuku, both native of um, e Ayuzo Mbaize, local government area of Imo State, and the victims held in captive was gallantly um, rescued. Well, we're, that's a top notch to uh, the police in Imo State. Well, uh, in the heat of all that is going on in that place, we still find the police still doing valiantly well and trying to. Uh, do their best to see how they can put a stop to the dastard acts that are going on in that place, especially the acts of the unknown gunmen and all of that. But then these are said to be kidnappers. In the course of interrogation, the suspect confessed to the crime of kidnapping and revealing how they escaped from emo corruption of center jail break of 5th of April 2021. And after they escaped, they got a self hideout in Hayo Zimbabwe, in Baise, you know, form the kidnapping syndicates with their hideouts in strategic areas in the state and have been the ones involved. You know, people don't just learn. They have been involved, been the one involved in most of the deadly kidnapping incidents recorded in the states. They escaped from prison in 2021 and then, so that means, that simply means that our correctional centers are not really doing what I'm, I'm not saying that's the correctional center now i'm saying that the purpose for which the correctional centers have been set up and not being fulfilled as it were if people still get out of the correctional centers and get, go straight back into crime well considering the fact that they, it was a jailbreak but then one would have expected that look I've been given a second chance to live a free life and then just go and find a place to. I mean, that is that's supposed to be their thought. Yes, normally I know a number of people, a number of them return back to the, you know, to the correctional center. But then, it's even though it's not that one is encouraging jailbreak, but I think you understand what I'm trying to say. That okay, let's assume that you even escaped or you are even free because as it is now, as it is, even if they were freed normally, they will still go into this. Because it was, it's as though they they, 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 they they arrange themselves, they meet themselves, they meet their peers in the correctional center and they arrange on how they can do what they do uh, much better. The suspects later took the police operatives to their various hideouts in the state where most of their gang members were arrested. Uh, those arrested include Tochuku, sorry, Tochi Chilak, male, age 27, a native of um, in the same um, by the local government area, Sunday Richard, male, age 32. You know, native of Ikom in Cross River State, Comfort Obo, which is a female, age 35, uh, a native of, um, they say, a native of Benue State, a local Naka local government in Benue State, Igbo Simon, age male, which is age 33, you know, um, from Gua West in Naka local government area, also in Benue State, and we have Sibiru Unwagu, M, I mean, male, age 65 years old. Um, you know, when you look at the age brackets, we have two females among them, Inkechi, Ibe, that's age 35, 
also age 35 the two females among them are both 35 years old and we have the rest of them male between the age the average age here is 35 the average age where we still have a male who is 65 years old an elderly man on searching the kidnappers hideout thoroughly the following items were recovered they include one ak-47 rifle bridge number 1142 with eight four rounds of live ammunition four locally made pistols 46 rounds of live cartridge one toyota four on suv vehicle belonging to the victim multiple bank atm cards stolen from their victims and the personal belongings of the victims meanwhile the victims have since been reunited with their families male family members and aggressive man horses on to arrest the remaining members of the syndicate uh, who are presently uh, at large the commissioner of the police of police emo state uh, command you know, commissioner cp muhammad ahmed bade while commending the officers and men for their proactiveness and gallantry thanked emo lights for their continued support to the command he enjoyed them to continue uh not i mean they enjoyed them to continue in that uh particular way of helping them also enjoying them not to allow criminals and their code to use their communities as a safe haven to perpetrate heinous crimes and appeal to them to make sure they report any suspicious person or person seen within their neighborhood to the nearest police uh, station he then tasked the hunters association to also always assist the police and other security agencies with credible and timely information on their findings in the bushes emphasizing that most criminals have their hideout local located in bushes finally he advised immolites to form vigilante groups or neighborhood uh watch and that in a way uh, brings us back to the sick issue of state police state policing that has not been allowed or you has not been given a uh a thumbs up to go ahead with we'll still come back to that because nobody knows that they they you can't bring somebody all the way from or your states or take somebody from or your state to Kaduna states and say that person is going to perform he doesn't know the terrain he doesn't know the terrain he's just going to begin to get used to the terrain language barrier is there and all of that so state policing will still have to come in well the platform is open for you please do drop your comment make them simple and civil let us know what your opinions are on this particular development thank you very much for watching your uh opinion on comments will be responded to immediately i hope you have a very wonderful week ahead of you thank you very much bye bye